Everybody, welcome back to the Trinice Duplessis show. How's everybody doing? Oh man, we are back for our second show. We are so excited about this show. I'm so glad that you guys, thank you for following us on Facebook um, at the Trinice DePlessis Show and watching the online link of the Trinice DePlessis Show and actually tuning in to watch the show um, on uh, NOAA TV, Cox 76, every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and 11 p.m. We are so excited, guys. I have so many things lined up for the show and the last show with the first Mama T episode a lot of you, that was your first time actually seeing Mama T in action. I've been doing Mama T since 2012, and you had a chance to uh, be blessed with her presence. So now you'll be able to be blessed with her presence again for this show because we're actually um, going to have an episode um, when we take a break for you to, to, see, to see the show. So... Um, I'm very excited about where the show is going and what type of people we're meeting. Um, the skit that you'll see later is Mama T episode two, where uh, Miss Geneva Abair is a young lady that I met on uh, Queen Sugar set. You know, a lot of you don't know, but I do work on movie sets um, often, like NCIS and. Uh, um, Queen Sugar, and I've worked on uh, Girls Trip with Queen Latif, and all those different things. So I've had a chance to work on uh, some of these sets. And Geneva Abair, we met her on the set, and she uh, was able to come on the show and perform um, a skit with me. So you will be able to see that skit in a little while. So let's talk about some other things um, before we get started. I'm really um, looking to cast for our December 12th show. So if you want to be a part of the show, um, I'm also going to be interviewing um, author, activist, uh, spoken word artist, Ayana Molina. Ayana Molina will be on December 12th where she uh, will be interviewing her. That way she can actually um, talk about her projects and the different things that she's been doing. And we just had a, a show called The Entertainment on, of the Arts on November 3rd with Tillman's uh, Corner and T. Duplessis Entertainment, which is my company. We sponsored a show at Cafe Istanbul where we have a bunch of artists that came together um, to uh, bless the stage with their gifts, where it was poetry, it was music, and she will be my special guest for the December 12th show. But we also want to do a skit as well. So we are going to do, we're going to uh, do a another type of skit. It may not be a Mama T skit. It may it may have not be, but we're going to do another skit for that show. So if you are interested and if you think you have the acting ability and the acting skills and you want to be a part of the show, um, where, you know, tell me a story about yourself. That's the best thing. The best way you can get on the show is tell me about you and what you've done and what you have done in the community. And that way we can get you on the show and talk about your story. And then also possibly if you're actor or actress that you can act on on the show. So send that email to the Trinice Duplessis show at gmail.com. The Trinice Duplessis show at gmail.com. Now also um, I have another email where it's TJ Dupless at gmail.com. TJ Dupless at gmail.com. Now upcoming events that I have um, that was one of them with the, the Trinice Duplessis show do you guys remember the show, The Sweet Willis Cotton Club, that I've been doing since basically talking about it since January on the Hope for the Day show? Um, now we're going to be doing a Christmas edition of the Sweet Willis Cotton Club show, and I'm so excited about that because I altered the script. I've made it a little bit different. We're going to have a Christmas theme. We're going to have some of the artists that's going to be singing the Christmas songs, and I want to name some of the artists that's going to be in this production, recording artists, um, 
a gospel artist, uh, my music ministry, Robert Pate Jr., um, is my musical director for Sweet Willis Cotton Club, and Robert Pate and the Rascals is what the name of the band is. He is an amazing musical director. Um, he, uh, the people that's working with the band, all of them are great. It's a four-piece band set, and they have done a, ph a phenomenal job with Sweet Willis Cotton Club. So the thing is, guys, um, He's, he's my musical director, that's one person. And then we have Iris P, which is another recording artist. She plays the sultry Miss Paulette. They have some drama that's going on with Sweet Willis Cotton Club. Some rumors going around about her, uh, Johnny V, which is played by radio and sports personality Dino Hansen. So he plays John, Johnny V, and he's done a wonderful job, guys, a wonderful job playing Johnny V. And there's some rumors about him and her. And then, of course, we have up-and-coming actress Amber Ned, which has done a fine job playing Camilla. Oh, wow. I met Camilla on NCIS. You see, God puts you in certain places and situations where you meet people and, um, you know, people that work with me. I've met them at some point in time, and, and God needed that those connections to happen. So Amber Ned is another person that uh, is doing fine as an actress, and she really wants to get her feet wet. And she's definitely, this was her first stage production, and she's on that stage like she's been a seasoned uh, actress and she's doing a wonderful job playing the wife of Johnny V. So um, now that we're talking about that, it's December 16th, uh, 2017 at the Cutting Edge Theater, at the Cutting Edge Theater. So you guys make sure you come along and you witness the greatness with that show because guess what? It has music, and it's going to have songs from Nat King Cole, Sam Cooke, Ella Fitzgerald, Lena Horn, um, the name of, of uh, Etta James. We're going to have Nina Simone. We're going to have all these artists that's going to sing those artists' songs, and we're just basically paying homage to those artists. So the thing is, guys, when I do these stage productions, I, I, when I write, I write it with love, meaning that I want the script to be powerful. You're going to get entertained, but there's always a message. Now, this is a musical stage play with a storyline, but there's a message in it, because uh, it basically, to give you a little bit of history about it, it's about a club owner that inherited his father's club and he turned it into a cotton club in New Orleans. That's what the storyline is about. So uh, Johnny V, uh, Dino Hansen plays an amazing job and is a story behind a story. Now, I do have some exciting news about Sweet Willis Cotton Club, but I'm not going to share it right now until everything is in place. Now, my other projects, The Concrete Bed, uh, which is a movie about a homeless prominent doctor. I am still working on that. I have to make sure that that uh, script is right and I have the right people and the right production. It costs money to do those type of things. So the concrete bed is just postponed. It's not canceled. So you can go to my pages, guys, because we can get ready to show you the skit and the skit is going to close out the show. So you can go to my pages, uh, the Trinice DuPlessis show, uh, T. DuPlessis Entertainment, the Concrete Bed, the Sweet Willis Cotton Club. I have about eight pages on Facebook that you can follow. And you can follow me on Instagram at um, T. DuPlessis Entertainment or T. Lovely Queen or Sweet Willis Cotton Club. I'm over the net. You can go to my YouTube page and uh, find me there. You... You know, you, some of you don't even have to be in the audience because sometimes you can't be in the audience, but I'm still giving you a platform where you can follow me and you can watch some of these clips that I always put up because I'm always uploading footage of my productions. I'm always doing those things to uh, entertain you. So, But nothing is like a live show. So in a minute, we're going to show you uh, Mama T's episode two. So make sure you guys, if you want to be a part of T. DuPlessis Entertainment and the Trinice DuPlessis Show, you email me at TrinceDuPlessis uh, at gmail.com. Trinice, the, the Trinice DuPlessis Show at gmail.com. So you send your resume and your headshot there, or you can send it at tjduplus um, at gmail.com. So right now, you're going to see a Mama T skit with Miss Geneva Aber as Dana. And enjoy the show, guys. I appreciate you guys for your support. So now we're going to take you right to um, Mama T episode part two. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> yeah, Lorraine, what you saying? Yeah, girl, what you got planned for Thanksgiving? Yeah, you ain't got planned nothing. 
You ain't got nothing in the fridge. Lorraine, what's going on with you? Oh, I see. So what you done did is you done ran to the bar rooms and, 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 and spent all your money in the bar rooms. I told you to stay out them bar rooms, girl. You ain't going to find no good sugar daddy in no bar room. No. I told you to get you a Facebook account and you can find and, and make yourself look pretty on Facebook and they'll come, come all in your inbox. That's what I told you to do. You're crazy, girl. You, how you gonna spend your money in the barroom and, and you're looking for a sugar daddy? Ain't nobody bought you a drink. That's just craziness to me. Now, you're living backwards now, Lorraine. Lorraine, you're living backwards. You're getting older and you're still in the club. What's the problem? All you gonna do, see what I got? My drink right here. All I do, if I wanna drink a drink, I'm gonna be in my house. And I ain't gonna be looking for no Negroes in no doggone bar. And you didn't spend all your Thanksgiving money on, on, on the ball, and nobody bought you a drink. You must wasn't looking pretty enough. <laughs> I told you what you do, girl. You got to get the right kind of wig, the right kind of makeup, and everything. Yeah. Well, anyway, what I'm cooking, I got enough for you, Lorraine. Listen, I didn't. You too old for this, Lorraine. I didn't. I didn't told you about this. Well, yeah, them doggone neighbors that broke in my house, them new neighbors up the street. They won't call themselves getting mad with me. Because I didn't want to give them no money. I said, if you want money, you got to work. Come cut my grass. And they didn't want to do that. So what they did is broke in my house and stole my piece. Yes, they did. So what I did was I uh, pretended like I didn't know they did it. Because, see, they don't know that I knew. I made them a nice pecan pie. And I put a lot of x lax in it. Yeah, that's what I did. And uh, come to find out, they had diarrhea for a week. <laughs> Lorraine. Girl, look, I ain't got time with you. But, yeah, I got the usual. I'm going to be fixing some stuffed bell peppers and uh, dressing and uh, oyster dressing and gumbo. A little bit of everything, Lorraine. You're welcome to come over here anytime. Now, the only thing is now, there's going to be a certain time when Sweet Willie's coming over. He's coming for the after Thanksgiving party, and that's just me and him. You ain't invited to that, Lorraine. Now, you can come before the hour, before it get dark, because that's me and his times. Don't be jealous. I told you how to get your sugar daddy, but you won't go to the club. Them Negroes is broke. Get your Facebook account. Yes. Well, listen, girl, let me get off this phone so I can get uh, my house chairs done, because these boys of mine that live here don't know how to dust or work or nothing. All they know how to do is eat my food and poop in the toilet. And leave the dog on stall up with urine spots on it with this stank itself. Girl, let me get off this phone. Bye. <laughs> that Lorraine knows she's something. Oh, who who that? Come on in here, whoever it is. I know who that is. Is that you, Dana? Oh. Hey, Mama T. What the? Dana, what's the pro? Oh Lord, Dana, you got a black eye. Lord, give me strength, cause I know, I know that Ray Rain put his hands on you. I know he didn't do it. Tell me, tell me you just fell and nothing. Nobody put their hands on you. It was just an accident. I know that's what Dana's gonna tell me. I know ain't no. I know that's right. That's what I'm going to believe in my heart. That nobody put hands on my Dana. I am right, right, Dana? Dana, what's wrong? Mama T, can I please come stay with you? What's going on, Dana? Why are you shaking up? You, you, you look a me What happened, Dana? Please tell me, is what I think it is. Please tell me, I know Ray Ray ain't touch you. Please, Dana, tell me, did he touch you? Mama T. What? 
can I, can I please stay with you? I said you can stay right? with me. You can stay with me. Uh, it doesn't matter. What, I just want to know what happened to you. I don't know what happened. He just flashed and he, he just spazzed out and... He passed out and did what? He spazzed out. I don't know. He, he, he got mad because he had a bad deal go wrong. And then he started getting on me for clothes. And then he started getting on me because Junior wouldn't be quiet. And then the next thing you know, we're arguing, we're fighting. And I had heels on and he pushed me down the stairs. And he oh. started slapping me and punching me. And oh. Enough, 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 enough. Dana, you're going to wind up in the early grave messing with this fool. You could have broke your neck. He pushed you down the stairs. He gave you a black eye. He's telling your child that ain't even his. What? I've been telling you over and over that Ray Ray's not the man for you. All he want to do is he sell. You can't be with a man. A man that wants his woman to sell her body for profit is not a man that's in love with you. He owns you as a people property. I just, I just started this. I got into this just to take care of my son. The, the nice, the nice words, the mm. flowers, the, mm. the glitz, the glamour, mm. the lifestyle, the money. Mm. Mm. I just got caught up with everything. Sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. I didn't been there, done that. He's go. He's really good, though. He, you should see him with Junior. He's really good. He's really good. He's good with your child. He was high. He was high. He's on drugs. He's abusive. He's not good to you. You saying he's good with Junior? Lord knows when the, when Mad Day come there, he might hurt your child. You in a dangerous situation, and you gotta get out of it, Dana. You got a detox from this fool. This fool is controlling you. And he probably give you good sex. Because that's what they do. They groom and woo you with money and glyphs and sex. And then they, what, did, did, does he beat you and then have sex with you? That's what they do. They're controlling. He's a narcissistic man. You got to get out of it now. And I want you to come stay here. Must be the truth. I want you to come stay here. And leave him alone. I don't care what's at that house. Where's Junior? He's with my girlfriend. Well, I want you to calm yourself down before get yourself situated. He did this in front of my son, Mama T. That's why I'm trying to leave. This, what is going to take? <laughs> you want your child to grow up to be a man that beats on his child? Do you want that? No, Mother T, no. Dana, I'm tired. Dana, Dana, I done been through this with you. And I done been through, I know you tired, and you're tired. But what the next thing's gonna happen, am I gonna read you on the front paper? Am I gonna see you on the front paper, my precious Dana? I've been knowing you since a little girl. My your old mama told me to take care of you. She's dead in the grave, and she told me to take care of you, and this is what you repay me with by staying with this man, and I thought you had left this man. I thought you had left him and you went back to him. What is going to take for him to kill you? No. Your child is more important to you than some fool that's selling some dope. And, that, and some fool that want to prostitute your body out. You got to get it together, Dana. I know the money and all that, but you have gifts that you don't even know about. Then your mama told me you know how to sew. She told me you know how to sing. And you ain't using none of them gifts. You can be self-sufficient. And it's not laying on your body for an abusive man. Because he got other women that he beating up on and pimping out here. This is not the lie for you. Lord Jesus. I want you. I got a robe in the room. You got my blood pressure going up, Dana. I didn't mean to come to your house. And, 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 and you can come to my house anytime. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Your mama told me to take care of you. But I figured you could be all right. And I'm thinking you had a regular job and you was doing your thing. And you didn't went right back with this man. And I told you he wasn't good news for you. 
Pray can be so charming, Mama T. Yeah, they're charming. Oh, yes, they are. I didn't have them kind. They're very charming. Very charming. You know what the right words to say? Get, what you, to say. get in the bedroom with you, and next thing you know, he right back to the same behaviors. You got to get out of this, baby. You are too precious and too anointed. God gave you gifts, and you could be using them gifts. He's trying to kill you. He's a fool, and he come to my house with that foolishness, I'm going to put a cap in him. Now, I want you to go put that robe on, get yourself freshened up. I got some gumbo and stuff. You come meet me back here in a few minutes, all right? Go yes, get you. Ma'am. Okay? Yes. Lord. Lord, give me strength. I done seen this before. I done been through this before. I done seen this happen to so many girls that's laid in, that's in the grave for these abusive men. And I just don't understand. She got me wanting a drink. Lord have mercy. These young girls don't get it. They don't understand what precious anointing gifts they have if they did know themselves well and they wouldn't give themselves to these men that's doing these things. Now, Lord, I'm angry with Ray right now. I'm angry with him. I'm so mad with him. I'm, in, I'm inflamed. But I got to say a prayer for him that he get his mind right before I come hurt him. That he change his life, Lord. That he repent for the wrongs that he's done to these girls out here. Selling their bodies and tricking them out. Promising them a lifestyle. That you change his ways, Lord. Make them fall to his face, Father. And I'm going to deal with Dana. I got Dana, as I promised her mama. But, Lord, you get Ray Ray the way you got to get him. Get him the way you got to get him, Lord. <sighs> Lord, I ask you to just help Dana. <sighs> oh, there we go. We're going to get you right. We're going to get you right. We're going to get you right. Dana, you're a beautiful young lady. And I love you like you're my own daughter. I didn't have any daughters. But I had sons and I lost. Let me tell you something. You know that I lost my child to selling dope. But the difference between Ray Ray and my son, my child was a good boy that got caught up in the system and, 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 and got influenced by a big drug pen. My son was a loving child. But Ray Ray, something bad happened to him that made him abusive. And he's, his, he gets high off of hurting women like you. And what you got to do, you got to break free, baby. Because if you don't break free, I'm going to have to be bearing you. It looks as though I'm going to have to put life insurance on you. If you ain't got none for yourself. And take your son in. Do you want that? Do you want that for your life? No, Mama. See, that's why I'm here. I don't. I can't put up with this no more. I can't deal with this no more. I can't deal with the lies. I can't deal with the drugs. My child being raised and exposed to that. I can't, I can't deal with him putting his hands on me anymore, Mama T. I can't deal with the fighting. Well, that means that you've made a decision. And you can stay here as long as you want. After you get yourself together, you go get your boy. You bring him here. I don't care what's at that house. I'm going to buy you new clothes for your child and you. Fresh. We're going to start off fresh. Leave that dem demonic clothes where they are. Because you bought it with blood money. So I'm going to pray for you, and we're going to leave out this room for a second, 
and we're gonna go in my and, and I'm gonna show you where your room is gonna be, okay? Yes, Mama. So give me your hand so we can pray. Father God, I ask that you heal day in the Lord and that you choose shake her up and move her, Lord, so she can move and get on out of this man's life, Lord. She's going to make a decision today that Ray Ray is no longer in control, Lord. No longer putting a stronghold on and putting her in bondage, Lord. We ask that you release the shackles off of Dana right now, Lord. That you cover her with your love and your blood, Father. That you, you heal her and dry her tears up, Lord. Help me to help Dana. But most of all, Dana got to want to help herself. And by helping herself, that means that she got to leave Ray Ray alone. Because she got a child, she got a king, she got a prince that's going to be a king one day, Lord. And no prince should be witnessing his mother, the queen, getting beat by a fool, a peasant. Because that's what Ray Ray is, a peasant. That's all he is. A peasant trying to be with a queen. Let her know. That she is royalty, Father. That's what you got to do. She's a peculiar kind of being. Let her know, Lord. And Lord, wake up those gifts that's inside her. Wake them up, Lord. Wake them up because she got gifts beyond measure. She got treasures in her body. Help her, Jesus. I'm asking you, Lord, to take care of this situation. And Lord, I'm going to pray for Ray Ray like I said earlier. Ray Ray changed and transformed his life, Lord, before he wound up in the grave. And Lord, help me with my anger towards him. But I know that something happened to him for him to be the way he is. There's always a reason behind some situations. And there's a reason behind the story, Lord. And Ray Ray done done some stuff and been through some stuff. And he needs to be delivered from his own demons, Lord. Because he can't be no good to a queen. Until he realized that there's a king buried inside of him. But not right now, he's acting like a peasant. And he's acting like an abuser. Remove that spirit from him too, Lord. And I ask that you help Dana recover herself and her child, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Mama. I love you, girl. I love you. <laughs> nah, you're going to be all right. Guess what? Today is a new day. It is. So let me show you where your room is. Let's go. God is good. God is good. Come on here. And we're going to get this foot elevated so you can get yourself back to yourself. All right. Definitely listen